These are uh, mini GPS uh, keychains that are being sold on eBay. They're made in China and they're, uh, they're very nice. They're small size, as you can tell by the, my hand here. They're slightly bigger than maybe a Kennedy half dollar. And uh, they run uh, $25, $30. And they're quite accurate. They don't have some of the features of the full feature GPS units. There's no built-in maps. There's no way to upload uh, waypoints or anything like that. But for something that gives you coordinates and uh, you can look them up on your map, uh, it's a very, very convenient thing. I've even had one of these units save the day when a friend of mine uh, had a Garmin GPS unit in his car and uh, he didn't know where he was and he used the where am I function and the address it came up with produced something that couldn't be located uh, either on our Garmin or any other sources. So I simply asked him for the coordinates we punched it in and the thing pointed the arrow and he was within two miles and we, we managed to get connected up. But there's one thing you need to be aware of when you buy these little units. There are several different versions. And if you'll look, they're both very accurate in regards to the coordinates. So here we have uh, 32, 13, 42.78, 110, 52.56. We come over to the other unit and we see very, very close numbers. Uh, uh, but the, the, the one problem is the older units have a software glitch in them. And if you look here, it is showing uh, for the uh, latitude you have a north measurement and for the longitude you have a west measurement. However, when you go to the older units, they have a slight software error where instead of giving you east-west, it shows a nor another north or south. Now, obviously, we're at 110 west, so we're very far from Greenwich, you know, zero, and the other side of the world at 180, so it's unlikely that I will not understand that, you know, since the United States is from, like, you know, uh, uh, 105 west to, like, you know, or, or 101 west to, to Hawaii, or 10, uh, 113, something like that. So, I, you know, very unlikely you'd make an error that gross. But you should be aware of that uh, because uh, it will uh, add one more complication uh, if you're handing out coordinates. And uh, the old ones only have 16 waypoints that can be memorized. The newer ones do have 24. Uh, the newer ones also have a very nice benefit in that you can display the coordinates in different ways. And so you can go from just uh, degrees and minutes like this to you can toggle it through and get it into decimal format. Uh, the only thing it does not do uh, on the modes is it won't do uh, UTM uh, type grid coordinates, but uh, it just saves you the difficulty of converting from degrees, minutes, and seconds. And I often display it in decimal, and uh, but both are very, very accurate. And uh, for uh, 25 bucks, you can slip it in your pocket. It's smaller than an e Etrex or Garmin. And uh, one thing I notice about all these new hiking GPS units, uh, uh, if you did want something that was a little more sophisticated, the older e you could download and upload uh, GPX or LOC files and uh, work with them that way. And it seems like all of the new GPS units made by either Garmin or Magellan for hikers, for you to view your path that you've recorded, uh, your tracks, it requires an internet connection and it requires the uploading of your data. And I don't know, once again, in this world of always collecting data uh, on people, I'm just a little leery of something that wants to know all of my hiking tracks and uh, when I was doing it and so forth. Uh, I know these companies use it to accumulate information like traffic patterns and stuff like that on their uh, automotive GPS units, but even so, if, if you, for a privacy issue, the nice part about this is, is the data doesn't go any place, it's in your shirt pocket, and you use it with uh, maps or how you like to use it. But uh, just be aware that there are two different versions, the features are different, and uh, along with having the additional uh, points of interest or waypoints, the newer version has uh, built into it a compass feature as well. And it's a not a true magnetic compass. It is relevant to uh, setting up the unit and, and spinning it 
and it does it relevant to the satellite. So it's not a true magnetic compass. You can do this similar thing on on the other units uh, where you fake a, a point to the north. So here we're at 32 uh, degrees north on latitude. And if you want to just set an arbitrary point north of you, you could simply make it 33 or 34. And uh, uh, within a moderate error, it would consistently uh, direct you for that waypoint using it uh, as north for you. Uh, if you're hiking so much that uh, the variance is that much, you're probably traveling by car or airplane, not hiking. Anyhow, uh, that's the uh, discussion and review on these little uh, keychain mini GPS units. I do like them. Battery life is a little short. They say 6 to 12 hours, uh, typically. Uh, I've tested these with the backlight running on them, and they will last about 6 hours. But the way I use them is often just simply occasionally turning them on uh, to uh, check or verify uh, where I am, and then just shutting it off uh, once I've located where I am on a given map. So there you have it. Uh, if you go with these, I hope you have fun with them. They're very, very handy to have. And that's it. Have a good one.